uh, hey, uh, good evening guys. Um, I'm doing this video from South Africa and uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to talk about this, um, I would almost call it the culture of uh, labor strikes in South Africa. Every month, every year there's a strike that takes place in different industries, from the car industry to the mining industry, and um, the situation just seems to be never-ending. Students striking and uh, protesting um, about fees. Uh, recently, um, just before Christmas, we had a very big nationwide strike um, of retail workers from the ShopRite group. This is one of the largest retail companies in Africa. Um, in fact, they claim to be the largest uh, retailer in Africa. Um, I'm just going to start by reading some of the headlines uh, from Google News. Uh, ShopRite says plans to, in place to limit impact of strike. Uh, ShopRite checkers workers march through Cape Town streets. Thousands of ShopRite workers on strike. Anger at ShopRite over strike. ShopRite Group says plans in place to keep stores open during the strike. Gender Commission supports strike against slave wages. Thousands of uh, ShopRite workers down tools today. ShopRite checkers prepared for pre-Christmas strike. Hundreds of ShopRite checkers workers affiliated to Sakao downed tools and took to the streets of downtown Johannesburg. They are striking against what they say are abusive and intolerable working conditions at the giant retailer. Among their demands are for transport to be made available for those working in the evening shift and to be made permanent. They are exploiting us in the name of full-time, part-timers. We want 40 hours permanent. Yeah. We want flexibility. We want flexibility. Even now they say they will schedule us 32 hours, then we will know how to plan on that 32 hours. We don't want them to change to 24. We don't want them to take it to 36 and schedule us for five days on 36 hours because now it's costly for us. Most of us were, were casuals. Most of us. I, I can say uh, plus minus 10% uh, at, at the store. We, the, they are permanent and rest of us 90 percent we are uh, we are temporary now let's maybe dig in as to the motivations of the worker strike like what is it that they that they're so unhappy about um as with most strikes most labor strikes it, it comes down to the salary or the wages so just a quick recap here um, uh, from News24. Uh, social media users have reacted with anger to protests that ShopRite workers have downed tools on Friday a result, as a result of the chain store treatment of its workers. The South African Commercial Catering and Allied Workers Union and trade union COSATU call a strike at ShopRite and Checkers. Among the union's grievances are the number of part-time workers and the unilateral amendments of working hours. ShopRite said that only a fraction of his employees are involved, but did not specify the scale of the strike action. Okay, then it goes on and continues with some details. As soon as... Um, uh, so here's a quote from um, uh, one of the union presidents. The they um, shoprite are good at propaganda as soon as we have as we as soon as we gave them 48 hours notice of this action today they threatened us with retrenchments or reducing working hours for part-timers uh, news 24 sister publication fin 24 reported that up to 30,000 workers were expected to down tools on friday just three days ahead of christmas um, the union said counted about 10,000 workers on the strike in Johannesburg, 8,000 in KwaZulu-Natal, and the same amount in the Western Cape. So here's the main crux of the issue. Um, and this is from uh, Twitter, from social media. 
Um, apparently they work Monday to Friday, 8 to 8 p.m., 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays and Sundays, uh, also 8 to 8 p.m., public holidays, 8 to 8 p.m., and then one day off. Um, they earn 2,500 rand a month, that's uh, less than 200 US dollars. The ShopRite CEO is earning over 50 million per annum, while his employees are earning only 30,000 rands per annum. His retirement today, that coincided with that rise in the share price of the retailer, but also that was on the back of strong quarterly sales. Well, Basson has been at the helm of the retail group for four decades. His remuneration, specifically bonuses of late, have been controversial. But he's also been praised for his entrepreneurial efforts, uh, taking the company from eight stores to a multi-billion rand group. The market seeming early today to be very confident in his replacement Peter Engelbrecht, who is the current Chief Operations Officer. We spoke to Whitey Besson earlier today. So, yes, it's been in the newspapers, but you know, I don't comment to my salary because I don't fix my own salaries, but we have contractual relationships which is internationally based, so it's not that nice to go into Africa for the first time when nobody's been out there and the hotels are not good, so... So those those elements do compensate you at least for the for the effort that you put in. But it is not nice to hear it every single day. It's not nice when you walk past the people that you that you work and love every day and think they earn X and you earn much more. That's not something which which makes you feel proud. It's just it's there. So I can also run it shop like like SAA if you want me to pay me a small salary. Okay, so let me quote from Twitter, uh, social media and Twitter in particular, uh, what people have been saying uh, since 21 December. Uh, somebody called Armand van Helden said ShopRite makes over 120 billion rands in revenue and pays its CEO over 100 million rand, but pays workers a paltry two and a half thousand, an amount 40% below the proposed basic minimum wage and way lower than the real minimum living wage. He goes on to say, there are those who dispute my figures in the age where information is readily available and could check figures for themselves and then come and dispute me. Well, from revenue of 120 billion, ShopRite makes net earnings profit of a jaw-dropping 9 billion rand. Sam Bainon, says we should as one nation and in solidarity boycott shop right checkers until the conditions and wages for all the workers are improved we must not perpetuate a culture of a ceo being paid millions at the expense of workers being paid two and a half thousand rand per month then some of the replies point out that that's like less than two and a half thousand us dollars will you see where Mslongo says, uh, dear black people, let's boycott ShopRite and Checkers. Use the other grocery stores, not these two. What they are doing to our brothers and sisters is called abuse. Let's all join hands and be part of their strike by not buying from these shops. What the F is two and a half thousand? Then uh, one of the replies from Lorna Mbeki. I'm sure she's not related to President Thabo Mbeki. She says, two and a half thousand is the standard salary in these stores. We might as well add pick and pay, spa, checkers, boxer, and etc. all of them. They underpay and overwork their staff. They can't even provide free transport for them on late shifts, nor give them discounted rates on food prices. ...has been struggling to create jobs with economic growth stuttering along at just 1%. But the latest unemployment numbers came as a shock. Construction and manufacturing suffered the heaviest blow, losing 88,000 and 80,000 jobs respectively in the first quarter of this year. Now, just tell us more about your social investment strategy. I know you said that you employed quite a number of youth in the ShopRite group. Tell us more about this and what it entails. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful story we've, which we're very proud of. In the last seven years, we created 55,000 jobs. In the last year, 6,000 jobs. And 91% of those are for people or people that we employ are below the age of 25, which we read recently in the newspapers it was that 3.3 million of those people are idle every day. On top of that, we've also taken uh, jobless people, unskilled people off the street, um, so to speak, uh, trained them, upskilled them, 8,000 of them in the last year, and then we employ those that we can and those that we can't, we can put back into the market with some skill that they can sell. And that is what makes us proud. We are business with heart. We are only, not only about making money, and that's what makes us proud. We have a bigger game than just making profit. So, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. South Africa has one of the highest unemployment rates in the world. Uh, the official number is around 27%. The unofficial number, I think, is as high as 35%. And amongst the youth, it is over 50%. Now, just because you feel entitled to higher wages doesn't mean that you deserve them. Uh, the entrepreneurial coach, Dan Sullivan, says that um, if you want to become an entrepreneur, you need to make fundamentally two decisions. One is that you will take care of your own expenses, and another one is that you won't expect any opportunities before you add value. So here's something for all of the people who strike and who support striking workers. What value are they creating in the company that makes them think they deserve to have an increase, to have a higher salary? Without adding value, they can be replaced. 